talked about it on a lot of their times off but Halloween came slower than they were thinking it would one day Willie and Cure Aqua were pulling the Empire Builder and as they were stopped in Shelby at a station stop they were talking to Boris, Cure Mint, Cure Black and Cure White Hey Lily and Cure Aqua, are you girls excited for Halloween? You bet I am. I'm going to a Halloween party. I've never been more excited, Boris. I'm trying to come up with a good story, but so far I have no ideas. Some people say the NSF locomotives look like pumpkins, which works for me since Halloween is coming. I agree with you, Cure Black. Pumpkin is a great new day for us. I hope my control gives mints to the trick or treaters, since that candy represents my name. Cure Mint and I would stay and talk longer, but we must get this train to Great Falls, Montana on time. Peace out. to go to. We need to take a manifest to Seattle. Good timing, because the absurd op will have to be too.
actually like her, she's better than Mint. And like I said, the main lines were full of trains. Traffic was very heavy, and sometimes that involved stopping for other trains. That same day, Carrie and Nicholas were somewhere farther away from Highland Valley, and they were pulling a freight train. When just then, they had to stop at a red signal. Why are we facing a stop signal? Calm down, Carrie. At this time of year, you can never avoid having to wait for other trains. And sure enough, Nicholas was right. Just then, a grain train passed by with two UPSD 70Ms and a Canadian Pacific Jeevo in the lead. As soon as the train passed by, Carrie and Nicholas can now proceed. Josiah and Will were pulling a freight train up the mountain. Just then, they noticed a very strange sighting. back to Highland Valley, they told Kira Dream and Momoka, who by the way were visiting Highland Valley, about what they had saw. Ha 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 You don't really believe that, do you? We do. We really saw an unusual sea and steam engine. Oh, now I know what you're talking about. The ghost of CN-6208. Hey, what's going on here? If it's a scary story, I want to hear it. A Canadian National Steam locomotive all the way down here. Huh, that sounds interesting. Lay it on us anyway. Back in the 1940s, there was a Canadian National B2G steam locomotive numbered 6208. I don't know if anyone remembers his name, but he was used for pulling freight and passenger trains across Canada. Life was very good for him until the 1950s, when diesel engines started phasing out steam engines. Those diesel engines think they're so cool? No, I'm sure steamers are still superior. Unfortunately that wasn't the case. Canadian Nationals started retiring their steam engines in the 1950s, and 6208 eventually became one. 
but in 1959, he was pulled out of the deadline just to take a short freight train to St. Mary's. It was to be his last run before being scrapped. Is this the right place to drop this train off? Just leave it here. I'll take care of it later. But he didn't know the rainstorm down at the bridge. His crew jumped out in time, but poor 6208 could go nowhere. Oh my god, that's terrible. Yes, well, I'm sad to say that he couldn't be salvaged so he was scrapped. However, he haunts the rails to this day. In fact, the other day, I was taking some grain back from Winnipeg when I noticed that apparition. But that's not it. Many other engines have reported strange sightings of 6208 first very recently. fairy tales like that? Wow, that's so sad. That Nicholas, it's true. You just haven't seen it. No, it's false and I know that. Anyways, I have to go. I am taking an overnight freight train to Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Can't wait to feel those fresh winds in the nighttime. Not really sure. We'll find out in a few minutes. Maybe it's some kind of mistake and that's it. What the heck am I looking at? Oh dear god, get me out of here driver, quick! Oh my god, what was that thing? Quick, oh, we gotta get out of here.
What's that noise? Oh, uh, dude, are you okay, Nicholas? Someone help me! It's after me! Later, Nicholas got back from his nighttime run. I'm sure to be safe in the shed. Maybe I'll take the spot next to Lily. I feel more comfortable sleeping next to her. Alright, just clear your mind. Get some sleep. Oh my god! He's real! Ah! Hey, we were sleeping. Sorry, Tanuka. I saw something very strange last night, and it's... Oh, I get it. You're spooked. No, I am not. I'm fine. Admit it. You really are scared. Scaredy engine, scaredy engine. Nicholas is a scaredy engine. Would you shut up? Let me sleep. When Nicholas woke up the next morning, he unexpectedly found Lily, Marty, Marie, Sean, and Will waiting for him. Morning, Nicholas. Did you recover from your shock last night? What is the meaning of this? Hey, Nicholas. Better watch out for that ghost may bite you. Who told you that stuff? Lily told us that you got the chills last night. Man, you sound terrified. How dare you, Lily? Come on. Your reaction was priceless. I would have loved to see the look on his face. Me too, Marie. You really got the chills. It's not funny! Stop reminding me about it! We have to teleport to Chicago. I'm taking the blue water to Port Huron. Lily's taking the city of New Orleans to New Orleans. And Marie's taking the California Zephyr to Emeryville. But don't worry, we'll be back very soon. Me and Will must teleport to Fort Wayne, Indiana. We're taking train 197 to Chattanooga. See you guys later. Ah, good riddance. Thank goodness those annoying engines are gone. Them bothering me about last night. Something I really can't stand. Sean and Will were pulling their freight train very nicely. What the heck was that? I have no idea what I just saw. 